And as we mentioned earlier, crews across the region pre-treating the roads all in anticipation for tonight's snow. Fox Eyes Paris Jones is in Loudoun County. Uh, so what are the roads looking like out there, Paris? Yeah, Jim, we're in Leesburg right now off of Battlefield Parkway and Highway 7, standing above Highway 7 right now. And as you can see, roadways are pretty clear right now and dry. And VDOT officials want to keep things that way. They tell me they're going to deploy about 2,600 trucks just in the Northern Virginia District tonight. Some of them are already out. Others will be staging in different areas. Now, tonight we stopped by one of the VDOT maintenance facilities as trucks got ready. I'm told crews started pre-treating the roads last night and continued into this afternoon. Officials say before the storm starts, they put down salt brine solution to prevent ice from sticking to the ground. Then once the snow starts to fall, you'll see them put down rock salt. And then after that, once snow accumulates to about two inches or more, they can start plowing the snow. We're focused on a couple things here. Um, one is going to be the snowfall rate that's going to happen overnight. Um, even though we have less drivers on the road, Northern Virginia is a very vibrant 24-7 area. We have a lot of, you know, third shift workers. Um, and so we know that people are going to get on the roads. And tonight, VDOT officials also say crews have pre-treated the roads on I-95 in the Fredericksburg area where we saw all of the traffic mess a few days ago. They have plow trucks out on I-95 that will circulate along the interstates and the ramps all night and tomorrow. Six towing crews will also be staging to respond to any crashes and any disabled vehicles. Now, officials still want drivers to avoid travel tomorrow if possible, but if you do need to head out here, some tips they have to follow. Make sure you give yourself some extra time for your commute. Drive at least 10 miles per hour slower than the posted speed limit. Of course, use extreme caution on elevated services, surfaces like bridges, ramps, and overpasses. Also leave some room for plow trucks on the road roadways, at least three car lengths, and the clear the snow from your car completely before leaving. They say that's because snow falling from your vehicle could create Create a hazard for other drivers. And tonight we know tens of thousands of Virginians affected by Monday's snowstorm are still without power today. Dominion Energy told Fox 5 that they hope to have the majority of those power outages back on by tomorrow evening.